We already know that there are reasons why we need to get underneath this top panel, but are there any reasons why we would ever need to get underneath these side panels? Well, let's find out. To remove the left side panel, you don't even need a tool. All you need is this. So insert the key, turn it clockwise, one quarter turn, and it is ready to go. And then just from the top, just pull it out towards you, and it'll break loose with the two seals on the side, and that's pretty much it. Now, in most cases, you won't even need to remove it uh, to get to what is really the only thing you would ever need to get to over here, which is the tool kit. But to remove it, it's very simple. All you do is just lift up on it, and I will show you what's holding it in place. Basically, there's a slot, and then down here on the bike is this rubber holder, rubber mount, that just goes inside the slot. So that's all there is to removing it. And like I said, what is over here is the tool kit. And to remove the tool kit, it has this rubber strap, and it's got the handle on it, so you just pull down to break it loose from the latch, and then that's it. It's ready to be removed, and there you have it. But wait, you're wanting to know what's inside of the toolkit. Well, if that's the case, then watch this. There are two toolkits that come with the bike. The first one is underneath panel A, which is on the left side of the motorcycle. Inside this first kit are four open end wrenches varying in sizes from 8mm to 17mm. There are a pair of pliers, a screwdriver handle with two screwdriver bits, one is a double-ended bit with a Phillips head on one end and a standard on the other end. It also comes with a larger Phillips head. There are three Allen wrenches ranging in sizes 4mm, 5mm, and 6mm. In the second tool kit, which is not maintained on the motorcycle, this is simply handed to you at the dealer when you purchase your bike. Inside that kit is a spark plug wrench. To put everything back, it's simple enough. Just put the tool kit in place, pull down on the rubber strap till it goes under the latch, and then that's all there is to that. Grab the side panel, and down here be careful because there is a little metal piece that comes out, and then you have to line that up with the slot at the bottom of the panel. So get it through there first, and then put the rubber through the slot You'll have to work it down a little bit to make sure you get it far enough. And then on each side, you have to line up the slot with the rubber mounts. So it should go inside between the two pieces of rubber on each side. So just line it up with the groove. You'll have to check each side as you go to line it up. Watch your key because it does want to have a tendency to want to close on you. So get it in place. Turn the key counterclockwise, a quarter turn again, and there you go. That's all there is to that. <laughs> Unfortunately, for the right panel, you will need a tool. You will need a five millimeter hex head. I am not sure why the engineers thought it would be a good idea to require the right side to need a tool, and the left side, you can simply use the key. It makes no sense because there will most likely be an occasion where you will need to get access to underneath this right panel. And I will show you in just a minute what's underneath there. So let's go ahead and remove it. And it's pretty similar to the other side. Once that screw is removed, it's just like turning the key on the other. You just tilt it out from the top and it's the same thing. There's the rubber seals on both sides and the one on the bottom. So you can just lift it up to get it out of the way. And then now that we have access to that, I will show you what you will most likely need access to. Underneath this panel are the fuse boxes. So to simply open the main fuse box, just push in on the tab and lift the cover. The smaller one, you have a little pull tab. Just lift that up, and there you can see all of the fuses. So I don't know if it's totally in focus or if you can see that, but I will just let you know that 
There are three different sizes of fuses, seven and a half, 15 and 20 amp. And it even comes with a spare 15 amp fuse. If you own this bike and you haven't done so already, you may want to get a few of each size just so you will have it ready. And just simply push the covers back down. So now we will put the cover back in place. To reinstall the panel, it's similar to the other side. You just line up the groove at the bottom, the slot at the bottom with the rubber mount put it in place. You'll have to wiggle it a little bit uh, because it'll want to fight you. Line up both slots with the rubber mounts on each side. Then push it into place when you get everything lined up. Line up the hole so you can start your screw. and then just simply tighten it down. Doesn't need to be really tight. And that's all there is to that. Hope this video helped. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit the like button. Feel free to add some comments. See you next time.